Hello everyone, welcome back. In this tutorial, I will continue to my beginner series, and this is the second one. In this tutorial, I will model that coffee cup. It may look easy, but when it comes to texturing these kind of objects like cylindrical, it may be tough. Let's check the mesh. It's something like that. Also, I will show you how to unwrap. Also, paint that object. So, let's get started. Start with changing our layout to model. So, we will have a bigger 3D view. But first, let me enable that keyboard so you can see what I press. First thing, I will go to front view, press Shift and V. Go to back and select the image plane. I will create a new cylinder, go to front view, and I will select my cylinder, go to object, and I will change its radius. Then I will increase my height. This is going to be enough. I can set my height segments to 1, because I will change them later. At this point, Let's see the lines. Go to display and enable lines. At this point, I can make that cylinder editable. Press C or you can press here. Now we can access to these objects, polygons, edges or points. Now I will switch to polygon mode. I will select my rectangle selection from here. Select the bottom polygons, move them. Then I will switch to scale tool, press here or press T and scale them. I will do the same thing for the top polygons, move them and slide the scale. Now I will delete all these polygons, just press delete on your keyboard. After that I will create a subdivision surface and put my object under that. Now I will need loop cuts to make the bottom part sharper. To do that, let's right click, select loop cuts, and it is two loop cuts here and here. This is gonna make these edges softer. Now let's try to create that cover or lid. Before that, let me turn off these save frames and work plane. Now I will select my object, turn off subdivision surface, switch to edge mode, and double click on these edges. After that, I will switch to scale tool, press Ctrl and extrude these edges, just like that. Then let's switch to polygon mode, go to selection, loop selection, select these polygons, right click and split this is going to create a new object with only these selected polygons i will go back to my first cylinder and delete these polygons because we will not need these polygons on this object also i will rename that to cup and this one to cover now i will switch edge mode Select these edges by double clicking on them. I will press Ctrl and smooth these up. This is gonna extrude them. So now I need to select these button polygons. They are already selected, but I am gonna move them slightly. Then I am gonna switch to edge mode. These are already selected. I will switch to scale tool, press Ctrl and extrude. Switch back the move tool, press Ctrl and extrude. Now let's switch to scale tool, make a slight scale, just like that. This time I will be pressing Ctrl and scale this, like that. I will do that one more time, but this time I want to close that hole. To do that, right click, select collapse. 
this is gonna collapse all these edges into one point now i can switch to polygon mode select these middle polygons with live selection tool press ctrl and extrude now we have another detail on these polygons i will right click select loop cut i will be pressing shift which will make the loop cut snap make it right in the center then i will select these edges double click on them switch to scale tool and slide the scale let's enable subdivision surface so as you can see, it only affects one object. It will only affect the first object under its hierarchy. So I need to make these objects into a one group. To do that, I can create a null object, put that under subdivision surface and put these two under that null. Now I can start to add my loop cuts to my second object. Right click, select loop cut. Let's add first one here, then here, here, and maybe here. Now let's create a hole on that cover to drink that coffee. To do that, let's select these two polygons. Right click, select extrude inner, apply that. After that, switch to edge mode, select that edge. Right click, select slide, and move it somewhere here. Same for this one. After that, I will switch back to polygon mode. These are will be automatically selected. Then I will press Ctrl and extrude these. Then I will delete them. After that, I will select loop cuts and add that loop cuts, which, which will make these edges sharper. Now we can enable our subdivision surface. So I believe that these are too close to the edge, so I will move them slightly. Yes, just like that. Now I want to turn on lines so we can see how many polygons we have and we can see the topology so first thing i notice is that we have these triangles they are usually not much harmful when they are on a flat surface but i will show you how to remove these i will select these edges leaving one behind them then right click select this off now these are all quads so if i turn on subdivision surface i will get a better topology this is same for the bottom of that cup so let's select these edges right click and dissolve also i want to add some loop cuts to my cup press shift and add one then hold shift one more time and add these ones it's going to be handy when i unwrap and texture my objects so don't leave your objects like that now let's try to texture that cup to do that first thing i need to unwrap my object to do that let's change our layout to UV edit first thing let's select all the polygons go to projection and say cylindrical projection to see them better i will go to textures and enable UV map so we will see if we have any stretching or not and in that case we have a lot of stretching so what i will do i will turn off that uv map for now live selection tool 
to select these polygons press ctrl for that after that i will enable my uv map in my texture uv editor go to scale but select non-uniform scale then i will scale my uvs until each of these boxes are perfectly square or closer to that and that looks okay after that to fit these uvs into my uv pack i will go to uv picking go to bonding box and say apply now i will select these button polygons with light selection tool if you can't see them just turn off your uv map select empty canvas select this i can change my top view to bottom go to projection and say frontal and i am gonna scale that since we are not gonna see that that piece is not very important i will not do any texture for the cover but let's unwrap that too select them all go to automatic uv select pack and hit apply looks perfect let's check it with the texture maybe we can we can scale this one like before But first I will scale them all the way up so I can see each of these squares. And to be honest, they are perfect. Now I will scale them back and put it here. Maybe we can select them all. You will picking and say bounding box. Now each of them will have the same space in that UV texture. Now I can go back to model layout. I'm sorry, not the model layout. I will change it to 3D paint. Now I will select my cup. Look here. This is gonna open 3D setup wizard. Then I will only select my cup because I will only texture that one. Say next. Uncheck recalculate UV because we have already did that. Say next. We want only color for the resolution. Let's make it 2K and say finish and hit close now i can start to paint my object but i am not gonna paint i will just use textures so first thing i will do go to texture file and open texture i will import that one now i will select that texture to do that i will click here select rectangle tool select all press ctrl c then select your object at material and go to layers and paste that over now i can move that texture wherever i want let's check that into the view so first thing i need to scale that click here and scale your texture but don't forget to press shift Let's put it right here. I think we need more scale. Let's do that. All right, that looks good. Now let's go back to texture and add a background. Select a background. Go to color. I will select something black or dark gray and make sure that you select your background go here and say fill layer i can add more to this for example i can create a new layer let's select texture and let's write sort and put it right here 
for the font, let's select Comic Sans because I am something of a graphic designer myself. <laughs> yes, like that. Maybe we can do it smaller, like 40. No, it's too much. Let's make it very really small. Then we can add more details, like I can select the draw line tool. Let's make it five and draw this. But I will stop here because I could go like this forever. So now we can go to texture and file and save it as whatever you want like jpeg png i will not do that for now i will change my layout to standard and select model mode if you click that it's gonna lower your resolution of the material but just click on the material go to viewport and change your texture size to 2k also, you can add a new GX layer, change the Fresnel to dielectric and make it 0.5, increase my roughness to maybe like 60. For the cover, let's create another material, apply to the cover, I will make it a plastic one, let's make it darker, go to reflectance, add a GGX change Fresnel to dielec dielectric I guess and some roughness let's enable subdivision surface and here we go before closing the tutorial I want to add my one last detail and it's gonna be for that hole on the cover I will right click. These are already selected. I will select slide, press Ctrl and slide. This is gonna hold the edges better. Enable subdivision surface. This is gonna make these edges sharper. Also, I want to increase my subdivision editors resolution to three. Also for the renderer. All right, guys, that was it. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you learned something new and I'll see you in the next chapter of the beginner tutorials. Bye.